All right, all right. What's going on, people? I am SP, and I'd like to welcome you to SP3D. Make sure you like and subscribe. I guess I got to start saying that. And um, today we're going to be talking about pistol crossbow strings. Uh, and it's not really complicated, but there is a difference. So without further ado, let's go. So we got two type of strings. You see three strings here. I explain that one. Um, first of all, you have this one right here. This one is the good string. This is the best one you can get right here. You can find them in green. Uh, sometimes they come two-tone. But these are made out of, uh, I know I'm saying it wrong, Demeria, which is like some of the same line that they use to make fishing lines. So this stuff is good. It's like one strand can hold like 100, 200 pounds. So, and that's one strand. So this is good. These are kind of made with a lot of quality. If you can see, yeah, if you can see the knots are good. The loops seem to be always balanced in the same size. Now, these are the best, but the issue with these is you don't always get those. Sometimes you can order these, but these will come. Now, these right here, these are made out of, these, this is like paracord. So what I'm gonna be doing today is, I'm gonna show you how to kind of take care of your string, get it prepared. So if you ever get a string like this and it shows up at your door and this is the one you get, you can always tell, you know, you can see the fiber. Now, later on, I will say, I'm not sure if there's a difference and the power. I think they give off both the same because I shot with both of them and I can tell you, I could tell if there was a difference. Uh, and just to explain this, this is one I made myself. Uh, I have a spool. Let me see. What I did is I bought a spool of this Dimeria and this stuff is, is dope. But the issue is, is that when you start making the strings and you get your jib ready after a while, after about three strings, I don't know if you can see that, but it finally held up. It literally cut through your finger all the way to the meat. So I had to like stop doing, no matter what I put on there, that string is crazy. So, you know, when you're pulling on it, it's gonna tear you right there. So, uh, let's see. So what we're gonna do here today is, I'm gonna show you how to take care of, mainly the, the, this, uh, the paracord string, because this one, you can do the same process to this string, but, Honestly, it's really not necessary. Not unless uh, if you're shooting uh, light arrows, then you get a lot of dry fires or it feels like it's dry firing. So what will happen is this will get a little worn down. But I'll be honest, I let this wear some before I even do anything. I just put some uh, beeswax on it. and But this one, sometimes I will, but generally I don't. Now the paracord. Before you even attempt to put this on your on, on anything, this needs to be treated. All right, and here we go. So, the first thing you want to do when you get to this cord, you want to check and make sure all of your little, I don't know, end ties are tight. Because as you see, they'll pull kind of loose. You see? They'll pull a little bit loose, and then that's what's going to tear it up. So what you want to do, you want to go to each side, you know, just grab the ends and, you know, pull it in tight. Pull it in tight from all the ends. Make sure it's in there real tight. You know, just what you do, what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the, the uh, where the loops start and I grab the other string and, you're, and I'm just pulling it down as tight as it can onto itself. So once you do that, you want to take super glue, any type of super glue, cheap super glue would do. I'm thinking of putting together a little package to where I sell a bow along with a string and you'll get some glue and some, uh, and a stick of um, beeswax. Now, now I got the big ball, this is real hard, so I've been having that forever. I didn't did like over a hundred strings with that thing. So, so let's go. Here's what you want to do first. First thing you want to do is, let's get this out of the way. You always want to do this on some type of cardboard or something, just to keep your spot clean and make sure it doesn't get stuck. But what you want to do is, I go in and I'm going to just point to where I, I hit all of the uh, end pieces, right where the 
loose string connects with the, the loops. So you got one, two, three, four. I make sure I get those. And this is like it's not really holding the best, but once I get the glue on there, it'll be, it'll be dope. So what you want to do is you take your glue, and what I like to do is just pinch it down, and you kind of want to saturate it. You know what I'm saying? You don't really want to. You don't want to go too crazy. You know what I'm saying? I like to just rub it on, but I don't mind getting a lot, and then I kind of spread it out. And what I'll do, I'll just go through and do all of one side before I do any flipping. And you want to get the string and like right where it goes into the strings, where that starts at. You want to get that done up. And you want to do that to all your little ends. And I just pinch it. I just use this technique, you know. It's not really a technique, but, you know, we got to be technical over here when we're trying to explain stuff. So you just want to put some glue, like get it kind of saturated. Then you want to... You can go all the way up. I like to just get up in the knot some. I'm gonna go ahead and start flipping it. I like to get up in the knot some, but you know, I don't like to go all the way up because it does harden it, but as you start to work with it, it loosens up because it's fibrous. So, I'm gonna do that and just you just wanna go through and get, make sure you hit it up good. you hit it and I'm thinking and also in the comments if you can what I want to do is I'm gonna make two of the same type of bowls or just put two of the same type of bowls uh, I have some of the uh, Cobra joints I'm thinking of just getting two of those and what I'll do is put one string on one and one string on the other and then we'll test it and see if there's a power difference and also test what's the effectiveness of twisting the strings because twisting the strings definitely makes it stronger. Now by how much, I'm not sure. I think I tested it before and I'm just letting this dry a little bit. Uh, I usually do about one or two, about two coats. So I'll let this sit for about five minutes. Of course, I'm not gonna let you guys sit through all of that. So generally, I'll put about two coats and let this dry. But like I was saying with the test, what I'll do is I'll put this uh, the same type of crossbow, but I'll do both the strings and then I'll shoot to see if there's a difference. You know, sometimes one can be just a millimeter longer than the other, so that can always be the difference. And then I want to twist them. So like I say, when you put these on the bows, the more you twist it, you know, I use this one, the more you twist it, the stronger it is because what it's doing is making the string effectively shorter and stronger so when you pull it it has more of a you know it shortens that gap now I did this about maybe a year or so ago and I'll be honest it looked like I got about hold on, don't forget to put your cap on your glue I did it about a year ago and it looked like it was like a six seven joules difference but I didn't I couldn't tell because I didn't have no meters I was just guessing and um but like I say, if you think that's a good idea to do that, make sure you uh, put that in the comments. But right now, this is basically, I got this glued the way I want it. And what I'll do once this dries, now you also can go and hit the whole string, the server and all. Um, when I'm shooting like maybe the steel balls, the, uh, what is it, the sling hammer, the steel balls, I really don't know about greasing the line there. I don't know if it'll make it slip over the steel ball, so I don't grease them on the, uh, the sling hammers but on the crossbows most of the time I will so after you finish that you want to get a healthy dose you just take your uh, you know your beeswax you know, take it out of course and you just want to rub it across it give it a good dosage sometimes you can warm up this because this stuff be hard and uh, cause like a few I don't know if you can see this one this has been treated but as you see it soaks up in the fibers and while this is one I made it's a little bit shorter and thinner than the other this ain't going nowhere. This is a killer string. So, that's it, folks. I hope I hit record because I would be pissed if I didn't. But, thank you for watching and take it easy.